Hello everyone and welcome back. So I am back finally doing a Geek Gear unboxing. I have the box right here. Um, I just want to do like a little bit of a disclaimer. The reason why I haven't posted the last two months, um, I did get the one in August, I think it was the August one. Um, I wasn't really a fan of it. I'm not gonna lie, I filmed it, um, unboxed it. I just wasn't a fan of the box. No disrespect to Geek Gear at all. Just personally, I wasn't really excited about it and the video overall just wasn't the best. So I just kind of thought, I won't upload it. And then I thought as well, I wasn't really excited about the um, hint for the next month after that, I think was the September one technically. So I just um, basically just left a month without getting a box. So I thought I would give the October box a chance and we'll see where we're going with that. Also, just a side note, I'm very aware my filming schedule is really weird at the moment. I am coming back now with different filming and different videos. Um, so yeah, I am coming back. There are more videos coming soon and everything's just a little bit hectic at the moment um, because of a few months time, I am going to Australia. So I'm just trying to get everything sorted for that. And just, yeah, we're just trying to get everything sorted. This intro has gone on for too long. I forgot my wand. Um, so I'm going to go get it because, yeah. I've got my wand, I've got my box. Let's get going because I'm quite excited. It came today and I was ready to film. So let's do this. I really didn't need this. <laughs> also, I'm aware I'm in a different filming location, but the lighting in my room at the moment just isn't the best because it's a very dark day. So I'm in my living room getting as much light as possible from all the different windows. So. Let's just open this freaking box. Okay. I mean, I'm wearing green today and the first item is fitting. So let's have a look. Okay, so we have a Slytherin. I hope this isn't house themed and they're giving me the wrong box. But this is a Slytherin t-shirt. I do quite like this. It's good quality. It's a little snake. Um, is it a basilic? Is it something else? I don't know. Not very good with my uh, snake knowledge. But yeah, I do like that. And it's a navy. Is it navy or is it black? It's black. Um, and yeah, I like that. That's not bad. Let's get rid of the... Uh... Wow. I'm going to literally just dump them on the floor. Dad, if you watch this, you won't. But I'm sorry. I like the colour. Oh, wait. These are my colours. <laughs> Cute. Imagine if I was supposed to get the Gryffindor top and I didn't. That would be awkward. And they gave me all things Gryffindor, but then accidentally gave me a Slytherin top. So we'll work with what we've got right now because it's just too much. Oh, I've got one attached to me. I don't, yeah, I'm a bit confused now. Am I supposed to have got a Gryffindor one? But I don't know actually because what I've just seen Probably not. Let me move over a bit. I feel like there we go. Okay, so we'll look at this first because this is the first thing that's caught my eye. There we go. So it's a little... Ooh. ooh. Caught Lucas Malfoy. Lucy. I hate myself. Okay. Try again. Caught Lucius Malfoy. Constant village vigilance. Death eaters are among us. Remember, negligence 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 it says cost lives if you have any information concerning death eaters please contact your nearest aura office that looks amazing i've never seen one of these have these been in the film and i've just not noticed it because that looks amazing i genuinely think i have got the wrong box i don't know why i don't i don't know what the reference is you see guys i don't actually know the point of it but we'll find out when we get to the cheat sheet so next we have a unique trademark wand. Ooh, I love these. I actually do love these. Although, in the one that I didn't put up, I got like one with a skeleton. I was a bit like, mmm, fun. I don't really like skeletons. So, let's have a look. Ooh, okay. It's a different colour to the ones that I've had before. Ooh, that's quite scary looking. So this is a wand and it's got like a dragon on the top of it. So does that mean that it's dragon hair? 
who knows? I don't know if this belongs to anyone. It's a unique one, so I'm guessing probably not. I also don't know whoever owns this wand, how they hold it, because it's quite spiky at the end, and it's a bit like... I feel like if I had this wand, I'd be a bit like... It does seem a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not, oh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but I love the design. It's so much better than the skeleton one. I'm sorry, I'm just saying. We have something here that's in like bubble wrap. Why is this tiny? It's so cute. Oh my god, it's pink. Is it? Oh, that's so cute! Like, I have a small head, and it's smaller than my head. So this says, I might, I might say this wrong, and I apologize if I do. So, a Mortensia Love Potion, Hogwarts Apathic, I can't say that. It'll be on the screen, but look how cute this is. Is this like an espresso shot? Like, because I've never had a drink this small. In my life that is so cute i actually love that i i want to display that in my room like i love it that much <laughs> it's so cute oh my god i love small things ironically i don't like my own size but i like small things so we'll we'll pick this one up next oh wait we've got the cheat sheet for the wand so it's a it's a draco wand is that draco's wand that can't be Obviously, it's not going to be Draco's wand. But it's 13 and a half length. It is dragon heartstring. And the wood type is Hawthorne. Is this Draco's wand? I'm going to Google this. Hey, Siri. Google Draco's wand. Okay. I found this on the web for Draco's wand. Check Draco's wand. He's Irish, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. Except cookies. No. They've just called it Draco's one. It's not actually Draco's one. It doesn't look like that. I thought so. I was like, mm, I don't think that's right. I'm going to fold this though. I prefer when they fold it. So now that we know what this is, still not sure about the whole... Imagine that did something. Now for you, muggles. Okay, so we'll do this one next. So this is Basilic Blood Brewing Tea. By the way, I have several of these and still haven't been successful in making these. I got myself a tea strainer because I messed up a few times. Um, still haven't figured out how to make these. So one day I will talk about these. And this is the Wild Cherries Black Tea. Ooh. I mean, it smells amazing. I really need to figure out how to make these. I might just take it to Joanne's and make her teach me how to make it. Oh dear. Okay, so let's, we have a scratch card, which I will open later, as I always do, for good luck. So we have something that says Wizardry Tea Tin. Is that for, is that for my love potion one? It's quite a hefty thing inside. I know, I could have seen it. I think this is my fa I could cry I'm that excited I think this is my favorite thing I have ever seen it says I solemnly swear that I love my tea and it has the map but oh my god like the Marauders map I'm really upset that I forgot to get it at Harry Potter studio like uh, um so my god my dad's gonna be like what have you done and i'll be like well we've got a tea i could just nick some okay i'm getting excited this is my favorite thing so far oh these two are my favorite things so far we have one more thing this is the cheat sheet so i'll just put this here is there a reason that it's based on like chamber of secrets it's not but it is okay Ooh. <gasps> sorry i just got excited again <laughs> okay so this is a little thing and it says the goblet of fire and it's amazing who was it made by just doesn't tell me but oh my goodness it's so cute i actually would put this up in my room 
Oh my god, it's so amazing. The, I was literally talking about this film yesterday because... <sighs> Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Dumbledore asked calmly. Need I say more? We still have a few of these. So that is the end of the unboxing. Oh, I can put this down now. So I'm going to open the cheat sheet and see everything. Maybe it'll give me a hint of what this was because I actually have no idea. Oh my god, I've just seen like a hint for next month and I'm, I'm going to have to spend more money on this box. Okay. A massive thank you from all of us at Geek Gear. Right, okay. I, I say this every time, so I'm not going to read the thank you every single time. Okay, so October 2019, we have the exclusive Vasilic t-shirt, the licensed and exclusive Goblet of Fire print. We have the Unique Ones exclusive Draco. But it's not. Still confused about that. If anyone knows what this means, please just comment below. We have the License Mini Mug. I'm not going to try and say it again because I fluffed it up the first time. We have the License and Exclusive Lucius Malfoy poster. And we have the Monthly Tea Collection Basilic Blood Wild Cherries. Where's it gone? Okay, it's... Oh, okay, I missed this bit out, but we have the exclusive T10. This is, oh my goodness. So it says that the YouTube spotlight this month is BTG in C, and next month's hint is Professor McGonagall. Oh my God. So if I obviously had to choose the one thing I'm not the most thrilled with, right now I would say it's the T, because I cannot figure out how to use it okay i don't know what it is i don't know how stupid i'm being but for some reason me and this tea strainer are just not working but i'm very excited to taste every single one when i figure it out but that's just that's just a temporary worst thing that i've received if i had to actually choose something as a gryffindor i would say the t-shirt because it nearly killed our hazard i'm trying to think Maybe the wand, because I wouldn't use it as kind of like an intro. Where's my wand gone? So this is like our old Ronald here. I mean, this has got a bit of a hefty, a hefty like top as well. But if you compare the two, if you compare the two, this one is still grippable. Whereas this one, I think it's just, I think it's the pointy bits. See? I think it's that, because for this I could be like, Wingardium Leviosa. It's always that one that I do, because it's the swish and flick. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, there's just something about the stabbing that I don't like for this. So maybe I would choose that. Maybe I would. I really like this. I don't know why I like this. I just do. <laughs> Um, I just think it looks really cool because we haven't had like a car and if we have in the previous months I haven't had them but my two favorite will have to be excuse me my favorites would have to be the mug and the tin I mean I feel like this is one that you wouldn't really use because I, I don't know why I just feel like it's too fragile to use I mean the tin I am definitely putting tea bags, I don't know why I smell it, tea bags in there, I'm so excited, I solemnly swear that I love my tea, it's very true, um, but yeah, so those are my two favourites, my next coming favourite after them two, because those are a joint first, would be the goblet, you know what, I kind of love everything, I don't mind, I don't mind the wand, it's, it's just, it's just the pointy bits I mind, okay, if it was kind of like, that so without the spikes i'd probably think it's a lot like ron's okay i would i'd be able to use it i'm just saying i need to be careful because i might start doing some spells that i wasn't ready for so that is it for this week's video so thank you so much for watching if you are new around here do please hit the subscribe button i'm trying new things don't judge me um and i'll see if i'll stick 
with the whole um geek gear unboxing i'm not 100 percent sure yet and um, i will let you know um i'll probably say it in a video or something when it's next month and um, just because i'm not gonna lie okay right let's let's have truth here it is quite a substantial amount of money i know a lot of people are probably thinking 38 pounds not that expensive it's not that expensive when i wasn't so close to going to australia but because i am saving up as much as possible to save up and spend in australia this might be one of the things that i cut out of my budgets every single month just until i come back and then i might just reconsider although at the same time i do want to professor mcgonagall have a biscuit potter some sort of thing but i might have to just find something online when I come back and just enjoy it then so I think probably will be stopping these after today and um, have really enjoyed them I've loved having all this stuff I have a lot of these that I do kind of enjoy and would probably put up somewhere Um, I don't I don't know when where um I just have a lot of things I've accumulated from these boxes that I most probably won't keep and I'm not going to lie, I've either gifted them or, you know, unfortunately had to do something else with them that I wasn't happy about. But, you know, I did pay for these boxes. Okay, I, this is not a hate rant, by the way, about what's in the boxes. I'm just saying I think I'm going to stop doing these for now. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, comment below what you think was your favourite item in the box. And yeah, I will see you again next week and I'm going to be doing, you know what, I'm not even going to tell you. Enjoy!